Good day, Mr. Morgan. You've done the best you can with this place, Miss Grimshaw. It could be worse, given the circumstances. No doubt. Arthur! Arthur!
I've got deep pockets in this community, and we watch out for our own. Hope you remember that. What can I do for you, huh? Sure, don't go greasing up the pages, though. Listen, you won't take all day, will you? You're gonna buy something, right? Listen, you won't take all day, will you? You're gonna buy something, right?
Looks like you're taking care of that weapon. Good to see. Got some nice parts for that gun, you know. That'll help, I'm sure. Interested in engraving some? Make that weapon your own. Well, if that gun ain't shining, glad you take care of what's yours. Hey, you know that gun could use a few choice parts, really make a sing. That's going to be great. Okay, my girl. Easy, easy. Can I help you there? Sure. They're supposed to be my business partners here. They arranged a meeting, I believe, about some horses. A fellow with a scar and a Mexican? Yes, sir. Out by the stables. Thank you. Have a wonderful day now.
Like you. You don't know me. You turn up in this town, and you're helping everybody. And everywhere, there's troubles. And have you met my partner, Arthur Morgan? No. I met your son, the sheriff. Okay. Mr. Gray here was saying how he had problems with a family. A family of degenerates. Oh, well, nobody likes degenerates. The hag and her inbred sons. They ruined this county. They killed my uncle, you know. That ain't right. Problem is, we can't be seen to get too close. And? We've got gold, Yankee. We've got gold. I ain't no Yankee, friend. I ain't nothing. My daddy came over on the boat from Scotland. I'm Scottish. And the Braithwaites? Goddamn peasants. I don't know. Mongrels. Slave fuckers. All you gotta do is look at them. How much gold? Enough. These are prized horses I'm talking about. Them, they'll get you 5,000. 5,000 for horses? Easy. And where do we sell them, these $5,000 horses? Over in Clemens Cove. Fell over there, we'll run them out of state and give you 50 cents on the dollar. Mister, you got yourself a deal. Just keep us away from this. Publicly, I mean. My sense is we keep all horse wrestling away from the public. Go to the stables on the south side of the manor. That's where they keep the thoroughbred. Braithwaite woman. Jose and Sean were planning on going over to the Braithwaite's. You haven't seen them? No, not yet. If they're there already, they better keep their heads down. We don't need this to be any more complicated than it already is. Five thousand dollars for horses. We've been robbing the wrong folk all these years. Yeah. He doesn't know what he's talking about. But get even a third of that, it'll be worth it. So how are we gonna play this? The place is well guarded, so there ain't no point in blasting in there. We'll make them think we're there looking to purchase. Three armed men? You'd be armed if you were about to spend 5,000 on horses. We should go in the back way, though. Avoid too many questions. see about some horses horses yeah we had a an appointment with mr. Braithwaite I believe yeah I never heard about any of this my partner wanted to make a significant investment in some stables down here but perhaps we should look elsewhere well I okay then let's head on up to the stables someone will come see you Yep. That 
see you. Nice and easy. No need to rush. We don't want to draw any unnecessary attention. <laughs> I think that's the stables just up ahead. Heads down, play cool. Head right around the front, hitch up there. up here. You can rest now, girl. Let me do the talking. you boys I hope so heard you got some horses we always got horses fine horses I mean I don't get you friend yeah you do come on listen why don't you get out of here you scarface and your greaser buddy whoa I don't like officials we ain't officials we're connoisseurs looking to do some breedings come on now partner okay fine follow me these here's mainly the studs available for purchase or for working if that's what you're interested in what is your boys interested in we represent a famous uh, stable and stud farm from uh, saratoga is that so unofficially of course well, this here's cerberus here you go boy cerberus is a real uh-huh greaser huh okay bandana's on don't need Nobody recognizes us. All right, I'll grab the white one in the middle. You get the other two. Relax, boy. Come on. Good boy. Whoa, easy. Easy now. Whoa, now, easy. Marston, you're going to tether him up to Javier's horse. Okay. Javier, you're going to lead the stallions. This way. Come on. Marston, you ride point. I'll cover up the back. If there's any problems, we regroup at Clemens Cove. Okay. What are you doing? Let's go, quick! Get going, you two. I'll watch the What ramp. the hell are you doing? Stop! 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 I said stop these men! Stop!
Get these horses to Clemens Cove, quick, before we run into any more trouble. Whoa, you okay there, boy? Shit! One of the stallions is loose! Keep going! I'll get him! Yeah. Clemens Cove is just over there. Come on. Let's get this over with. Well, that could have gone smoother. That'll be on my gravestone. <sighs> Enough! They look like they're paying five thousand for horses. I guess we'll see. Whoa, now. Whoa, now. What you boys want? Heard you was, uh, heard you paid good prices for horses. Oh, we'll buy more or less anything, Pop. That so? Sure, Pop. I'm Clay Davies. That's my brother, Clive. We're twins. John, Arthur, Javier. <clears throat> so what are you, Cuban? No, I don't like Cubans. That's so? Maybe. Why, what do you care? You ain't Cuban. Maybe I like Cubans. <laughs> Ooh, you're funny. He's funny. Ain't he funny, Clive? Clive don't talk. We're twins, but I was born first. He came out all yellow and black, but he's okay. Ah. Sure. Yeah, I know these horses. They, they ain't yours. But I like you, and I'll give you... I can give you 654. Okay. <laughs> I was told we could get up to $5,000 for them. And I was told the moon was made of ladies' tears. Only it ain't true. Not one little bit. But... I like you boys. But I ain't got more than 700 on me. You want it, or you want to ride them fellers into town, and maybe someone there will hang you. We're gonna need more than that. I ain't got no more money, Pop. Here, take it or leave it. Uh-huh. All right. You goddamn fool, Marston. Ain't no one around here got $5,000, boys, but nice meeting you. <laughs> See you boys again, I hope. Come on. Yeah. Close the gate, Clive. Believed a yarn spun us by one of that Gray family and imagined we was going to be wonderfully rich. At the end of it, we felt like prize idiots.
Arthur. Arthur. Oh, no. You sweating yet, Dutch? Of course I'm sweating. We're in some disease-ridden, swampy, Dixie-whistling shithole. <laughs> uh, I meant about what Trelawney said about these bounty hunters. I'm not sweating as such, but maybe a little gentle perspiration. Until we know more, ain't too much harm in wasting good liquor on sweating. So? So, I think you should pay Mr. Trelawney a visit and find out exactly what he knows and who he spoke to. Take Charles with you. Oh, the sight of the pair of you would make a statue sing out its secrets. Okay. Charles, I need you for some business in town. Come on. Okay. Back out there, girl. wants us to have a talk with Trelawney about these bounty hunters who are coming for us. Hoping he can tell us who they are or where they're coming from. Okay. And you're deputies now. <laughs> Something like that. As soon as we laid eyes on that fool of a sheriff who runs that town, I knew Dutch was gonna play him like a fiddle. On the run from one bunch of lawmen, working for another. Interesting. Hiding in plain sight, Dutch calls it. Hmm. <laughs> so, spirits seem good. In the new camp, I mean. We got some space between us and that mess now. Ain't seen no more Pinkertons for a while. There's these bounty hunters, of course, but Dutch don't seem too worried about it. Can't believe they're still coming after us. We didn't even get away with the money. Yeah, but they don't know that. Of course. Trelawney. I've only met him a couple times, but he's... he's a strange one. Fear not. He's just a cockroach in fancy britches. When he gets into nooks and crannies, the rest of us can't. We just need to find him before he scurries off again. I think it's just up here. Someone got here first. By the looks of things, it wasn't a social call. Check the house.
What do you think? There's some blood here. That ain't good. Big struggle. Pretty recently, I'd say. I guess maybe uh, 12 hours ago. But no body? Not yet. Mm. Look. Tracks. Come on. This food barely touched. Looks like he left in a hurry. Come on, before they get too far ahead. Okay then, girl. <laughs> they went down the path here. I'm tracking these days. All right, I guess. <laughs> well, lead the way then. Not the kind of place I'd expect to see Trelawney staying in. No? Normally scams himself into the best hotel in town. You know, when me and Javier went down with Trelawney to get Sean after the bar fight, I swear, he talked the whole way and never actually said a damn thing. I thought you knew. That's his special talent. They could be 20 miles away by now. We can track them that far if we need to. Depends on how much you want to find them. Yeah. I still ain't sure about that. Hey, look. They continue on the other side of the tracks. These tracks lead into the forest here. Whoa. Hey, look. Let's go see what those fellas have to say. Arthur, where are you going? Excuse me. Yeah. Have you seen them? <clears throat> we're, uh, we're looking for our friend. I don't think he's here. <laughs> You seen a strange sort of feller, sort of formal? Strange, sure. Formal, nah. He uses a cane. Looks a lot like this one. Yeah. All right, you two. Where the hell is he? We both better get out of here. Come in. You can't hit. <laughs> Tell me where he is. You go to hell. You better tell me now, you son of a bitch. Okay. Okay, for Christ's sake. They took him to a cabin over by the cornfields. Which cornfields? Left. Down the path there by Braithwaite Manor. Let me see you again, you hear me? You got lucky there, my friend. Thank <laughs> you. 
Come on, let's go. Follow me. I think there's a way around so we don't have to go through the Braithwaite's place. Yes. I've spent enough time there. After you, then. That's good. You okay? I'm good. What do you think they want with Trelawney? Could be any one of a hundred things. Just depends if any of them involve us. You think he'll talk? Of course he'll talk. He'd sell his own sister to save a train fare. He don't know how not to talk. He don't know where we're holed up, though. At least I don't think he does. I don't know why Dutch still deals with him. Always disappearing for weeks on end. He's got his uses, and, well, loyalty matters to Dutch. Of course. But is Trelawney loyal? Yeah, kind of. I guess Trelawney ain't exactly disloyal. Just got a big mouth. Don't worry. If he talked, I'll goddamn find out what he said. Nothing's ever straightforward where Trelawney's involved. Learn that much. I mean, how much time have we wasted getting this fool out of trouble? He somehow manages to be both lucky and unlucky at the same time. <laughs> That's one way of looking at it. But he always finds some way to pay us back. Just when we think about cutting him loose, he brings us something big. I guess that's his special talent, keeping fish on the line. That must be it. Let's get you out of here. Come on, boy. The thing is, after that sack, this will be remembered like a good time. Put the man down, gentlemen. Is that the lot of them? I, I think so. Uh, so you're uh, alive. Allegedly. Well, don't worry, they won't be for much longer. Okay, go get them, Arthur. I can handle this. Don't let them get away. Could have told them anything. Quick, find them. They're trying to hide in the fields.
Charles. Did you see those birds? I see something on the ground over here. He's dumped his gear. Look around. He can't have gone far. He's mine! Let me take him and get out of here. You have my friend. He's not your friend. I'll give you money. Be quiet. Come on. You should have taken the money. I know. I'm a fool. Oh, shit. Thank you. Of course. You okay? Yeah. I'm fine. Gunshots are coming from that barn! Come on! Go back for Trelawney. You all right? Yeah. Never goes easy, does it? Sure don't. Come on. Let's go see how badly they beat up the slippery feller. I wonder how much trouble he's brought with him. <laughs> Guess we'll soon find out. Seems like we can't catch a break now, Arthur. Our luck's held this long. We got out of worse scrapes than this one. Mm, so I heard. <laughs> sure. What's government agents and bounty hunters to us? Ah, uh, I hope you're right.
Mr. Trelawney, where are you? Over here, dear boy. Well, he's still here at least. Put your feet up, why don't you? You okay? Never finer. So, who was they? Uh, they were bounty hunters. Uh, attached to Cole Stoudemire. Okay. They weren't looking for me, per no. se. What you tell them? Not much. I told them I was an intellectual. Come down here from Oregon. Looking for a job at the university. Of course, they didn't believe me. Seems you stirred up quite a hornet's nest in Blackwater. So I keep hearing. It might be best if I stay with you gentlemen for a while. Can't go back to that caravan now. All right, Charles. You take Trelawney back to camp. I'll catch up with you. Okay. There always seems to be more, more and more civilization. I want to get back in the open country of the West, or what's left of it, but well, even that ain't the way I remember it. Okay, then. Hey, fellas, I have a meeting with Mrs. Braithwaite. My associates are already here. 
All right, that's enough. Move along now. Please come in, sir. This way, sir. A gentleman to see you, ma'am. So, your friend, the other liquor vendor. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Uh, Arthur, welcome. We were just playing cribbage. Arthur Morgan, Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. Nice to see you again. Apparently. So this one, he is big and as dumb as he looks? <laughs> well, he's surely big. But his intelligence is a matter of some conjecture. Some say he is as dumb as he looks, but I think, well, he's not quite that dumb. <laughs> so these are the boys going to Caliger Hall? Yes, we could take care of that for you, but one hates to be coarse. There is the question of money. <laughs> oh, we've got money, Mr. Matthews. Paper, bonds, metal. <laughs> she ain't gonna pay you in a certified check, you Yankee numbskull. Ain't childbirth just the most beautiful miracle on earth? Seems a lady can birth monkeys, after all. Can I drive? Nope. the bloody horse. Ready? Let's get out of here. Not again. You was quiet in there. Took everything I had. That son of horse. I'll shove that silver spoon down his throat and pull it clean out of his ass. The smug fucker. Yeah. Okay. So what she got us doing at the Gray's place? She wants us to torture tobacco fields. Said they ain't had rain in weeks round here. What? Yep. Using that back there. Moonshine? Born's faster than kerosene, that stuff. Said it'd be fitting, she did. All I'm thinking is how about I toy fitting my boot up your hook. No, just snotty old bitch. <laughs> Those ain't really picked the right fella for tea at the manor, didn't they? Ah, he was giving his usual flannin. One of these families got gold stashed somewhere, he reckons I'm in. I'm off for sticking it to rich folks. I hate rich folks. But they really bear me some bloody money at the end of all this. Jose knows what he's doing. Does he, though? The master finagler of... Nothing. Easy, easy. So far, we've destroyed the Braithwaite still. Tried to sell the shine back to them. Now we're on this fool's errand, which I'm very much looking forward to, by the way. They were saying old man Gray's double security after that business at the saloon. We just robbed their horses, too. That was you? Jesus. So, we're just gonna drive on in there, is that it? Don't worry. I got a plan. Wagons go in and out of there all the time with supplies, equipment, payroll. Especially now they're taking on all that extra muscle. We're making a delivery. That's all. Just leave it to me. I can talk a dog off a meat wagon. <laughs> all right, then.
Second, you not worried about them greys, English? Excuse me? You not worried about them greys? In what sense? Well, they knows you. Yeah, maybe you're right. You know what? Here, I'll go hide in the back. If you can act naturally and stop us from getting into a fight before we're ready. I will try. Yes. Try and do an impression of a human being. I'm not going to go that far. <laughs> What you want, boy? I've... I've... There, there was a thing... A, a, a thing... At the saloon. What you talking about? Well, I'm delivering the supplies. You're not the usual driver. Uh, you want a bottle, friend? Here. Uh, uh, have a wee drop. <laughs> I'm new. I, I mean you no harm. Uh, I, I've come from Donegal. In Ireland. You don't say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they said you'd understand. Some kind of incident at the saloon in town. I was told to bring this up here. Ask no questions, I'll tell you no lies, uh, sort of business. Uh, uh, before the officials got there, okay. they said. Okay. Drive this way. I'll show you how to get there. Oh, thank you, friend. Uh, have a drink, Sean. <coughs> Hamish. Good to meet you, Hamish. <laughs> uh, fine bit of country you've got here. Uh, not as fine as Connemara, but fine nonetheless. My people come from Scotland. Is that right? And you and I are nearly brothers. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Just over here. Yeah, it's straight down the path here. It's getting so I can barely keep track of all these deliveries coming in. Yeah, and they said they was looking for more drivers in town. I jumped at the chance. I ain't never been a feller to kick a bit of honest work out of bed. <laughs> so, you folks been having a hard time of it, have you? Yeah, Mr. Gray's got a heap of problems right now with another family around here. A bunch of covetous lowdowns trying to sabotage his livelihood. Disgusting. Oh dear, oh dear, I'm sorry to hear that, Hamish. Sounds like you definitely deserve that drink. <laughs> you don't know the half of it. Just in there. Ah, right you are. <laughs> you can unload it here. In here? Oh, <laughs> the horse is like a, a swift one, <clears throat> do they? <laughs> Excuse me? Um, nothing. It's grand. <sighs> <clears throat> uh, quite a place you yeah. boys have got here. <laughs> Reminds me of one of them big houses there, uh, out in Donegal. Huh. Real fancy places they was, Hamish. Real fancy, because if some folks got all the money, 
They can build quite the fanciest places imaginable, eh? Mm. Well, the average man sups on shite, yeah? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. We can hold up in here till it gets dark. How you getting on? Good. Nearly got these things ready. Okay. There's plenty of guards out there. Here's how I feel we should deal with things. You head over to the dry barn. Sure. And you? I'm gonna deal with the fields themselves. We coat everything in moonshine. And then we light things up with these little fellers here. Thankfully, it ain't rained. And that old barn over there should go up like a torch. <laughs> How many of these boys do you think you need? They should do it. <laughs> Let's head out the back. Look, once they get wind of us, there'll be no turning back, so move quickly. Of course. I'm rebel stock, boy. I was born burning down manor houses. We'll burn quietly. Someone coming on the left. Huh. Oh, hey. Well, I, I thought the wagon already arrived. This one didn't. Strange. So, what you got there? Tools, payroll. Okay. Drop it by the supply shed at the back of the fields. Sure. See you later. You hear that? Payroll. Yeah. Let's get this job done first, okay? We'll take care of this fella. Come on. You douse the fields. I'll meet you at the barn. Try to stay out of trouble. You better show yourself! Hey! Who's that? Quiet! There's someone coming on the left. Oh, 
hey. Well, I, I thought the wagon already arrived. This one didn't. Strange. So, what you got there? Tools, payroll. Okay. Drop it by the supply shed at the back of the fields. Sure. See you later. You hear that? Payroll. Yeah. Let's get this job done first, okay? I'll take care of this fella. Get the barn when you're done. Shine them fields up good, all right? Keep your head down. That's good for you.
Give this a quick dousing as well. Think she'll go after. I don't know. Ha <laughs> ha! Now let's go light ourselves a fat cigar.
turn into a right party. You call that a party? That break we had got our money's worth, Arlie. Let's just get out of here first. Interesting little fight Dutch has put us into the middle of here. Uh, I hope him and Jose are writing that there's some money at the end of it. Well, what now? Head on back to camp. You coming? Sure. Tobacco. <laughs> I'm busting for the smoke. There's a girl. Hey, Arthur. Hey. Thanks again for saving me in that cornfield. And of course, you do the same. 